There he is. I got him with a harness. Here's your harness. I keep him with a harness. I stop fighting with the harness, meaning I keep him on, pretty much keep it on him forever. It's unfortunate, but I just got tired of taking it off and on. So I just kept him on a, on a harness, as you can see. I got a string attached to the to the harness, as you can see. He's already trying to get out. He knows what what is coming, right, Bobby? You don't like you don't like taking bets. He's very angry. Look at his ears pulled back. He's like really, really angry. But he pretty much has no choice at this time. So here we go. Oh, uh, I trimmed his nails just in case he gets crazy and decides to claw people. I made sure to trim his nails. I do that myself. You pretty much pull them out and trim the nails up to the pink part. Hopefully you get to see that. And you pretty much minimize the risk of serious cat injury or injury by cat. So here we go. You will see he will try to escape. He will cry out bloody murder because he doesn't like taking a, take a bat. So, here we go. Looking for ways to get out. But he's not going to be able to escape because he's pretty much tied to the leash. To the leash, that is. So, wait him up. Looking for ways to get out. And there he goes. Hates that. Yeah, I know. But, he has to take a dog. I recommend the cat owners to give your cat a bath. Helps him out with shedding. Keeps the shedding to a minimum. Simply because if you're fastidious about cat here, and I am fastidious about cat here. I don't know why I got to with cat. But I have. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do to keep my cleaning to a minimum. Not only the cleaning, but... Again, summertime brings out fleas, and I do tend to leave the cats out, you know, to get some sun and, you know, do cat stuff. At least I to a leash with kind of control, but I cannot control that many things in my yard. And strays do come around and, I guess, leave the mark, leave the scent, and yeah, all but two. You know, get fleas on. So I give him a bath. This is just, I'm just watering, hose him down so that way the soap can do his magic when I put it on. As you can see, I got the leash on, the leash on him, so he's not being hurt or anything. He's just trying to escape. And his paws are out, his claws are out. But because I trimmed them, there is a little injury. Okay, so sometimes I can, you gotta get a little tough and put him down so I can wet his hair, his head that is. Come on, come on, help me out here. There we go. So now, I'm able to wet his hair, his head. He's crying, I know, he's crying. Yeah. And now we're gonna be ready to soap him down. Yeah, that's what you do. If you want to give your cat a bath, like I recommend it, do something close to this and you'll have a very nice kitten for a long time. We're going to soap it off now. We have soap. I don't know about the kind of what soap you want to use. They got, you could get soap from the pet store or a mild soap. I've been using mild hand soap. Lotion. And on, on him for a good while now, and I have not seen any rashes or problems that peed on, <laughs> that peed on my objective. But it's my cat, and I bathe him with stuff that helps both of us. <laughs> Let's open him up. He's looking at me very angry. He's very, very angry right now. Can you blame him? I'm sure you can't, because you're probably not used to give him cash back. But it is what it is, my friend.
Right, Puppy? Yeah, that's his name, Puppy. A cat named Puppy. You've probably seen this video where he was kissing. Now he's a big boy. So, now you for the concept of favor. Let's get the tail. Make sure you get the tail because fleas do tend to park themselves, at least temporarily, in on the tail. See, he's trying to make a break for it. But I got him nice and tight on the leash. All right, yeah, the neck area, very nice place for ticks and fleas. They love to park themselves around the neck. So, make sure you cover that. This soap is minty scented. It's my understanding that fleas don't like the mint. So, that's where he's at. Trying to keep the soap off his eyes. So if soap stains a human's eyes, guess what it would do to a, to a pet? Right, puppy? He's trying to escape as much as he can. He's trying to escape, but he hates taking baths. But, see, as I saw you, he's not being choked or harmed in any way. He's just pulling against the harness. He's <laughs> trying to escape. And if you hate this video, if you think this is animal cruelty, you can know what to do, what to do with that. So, continuing on, trying to escape, but can't make it. Sorry, little ratty thing, huh? Very angry. Look at his ears. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Relax. Yeah, soon as it'll be over. Okay. All right, let's rinse you off. Down. I know, I know. Let's rinse you off. Why do cats hate water is beyond me. I don't get it. But I've seen cats swim. Yeah, I've seen other videos of cats enjoying the bath. This guy has not. I have him now for five years, I think. I got him to see a kitten who's a stray. And he got lucky that I rescued him, I guess. And he's been taking bath regularly for the past five years. And to date, he's not accustomed to taking bath. So, oh, well, somehow we've managed to survive and get this thing as a regular routine to which he's not used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon it'll be over. Soon it'll be over. Gotta get the head. Oh no. We get the belly here. Belly. Belly, belly. Please watch it out. We have a, I see at least four or five fleas. Little black dots in the water here. Yeah. Yeah. All the dirt you have. Ah, and run. As you can see, he's trying to make a break for it. Look at what? They're flyers with cats. Yeah. And that's my friend, how you pretty much bathe a full really cat that does not like to take back. Uh, I know. That's no key. Right. Now take a little brush and brush that excess hair. Off you. Brush the excess hair off of you and the water. See? Oh, there's a flea on your head. 
see a flea, you see? Flea. Yes, you brush that excess hair, excess water, excess water off your cat. See, he's twisting himself into a nut, but I got him hooked up here, so he's pretty much like a little choke. See? You know, your first time you give your, your, your baby, your cat, it's going to be a harrowing experience for you. But as time goes by, I do it regularly. You will be able to manage this much better. When you first started, so don't despair. Just give it your good old high school try, and over the as time progresses and you keep baiting your cat, it'll be a regular shore that you'll be used to. See? Okay. So now on to the drying process. So, I'll see you on the drying process.